There we go. Oh, we are home. Walleye camp for the next week of ice fishing. It's gonna be a good time. Hey, look at this. I can't think of a better place to call home for the next week than this beautiful big ice castle. Look at this thing. It's just me flying solo. Got more TVs in here than I do people. Unbelievable spot to spend a week at walleye camp. Where am I? Up in northern Minnesota. If you guys want a phenomenal ice fishing trip, get a hold of Chaz DeBias at First City Guide Service. You guys watch a bunch of my ice fishing videos. You guys know I come up and stay with him a whole bunch of times throughout the course of the winter, wherever he's got his shacks. If they're on a lake of the woods, if they're on a red lake, give this guy a call. Link his information down below. First City Guide Service. Him, Corbin, those guys will get you on some fish in one of his beautiful ice castles. This thing's like 34, 35 feet long. You could bring your whole family up and stay in this thing. Unbelievable accommodations, and for a lot of places that are pretty remote, like some of these places I don't just mentioned, the accommodations might not be as great anywhere else. So definitely gonna wanna give Chaz a call for city guide service. But um, we just got settled. We just made the long drive up. Believe it or not, Tom Bowie, every time he goes on a trip does not always catch a ton of fish. I just went on a two day bender to somewhere I'm very unfamiliar with and dropped the ball. Nothing, zero, did not go in my favor. Pit, quick pit stop at home after a six and a half hour drive home. Got back in the truck, drove another four and a half hours. Now we're at a different location, northern Minnesota. And hopefully we're gonna be catching some walleyes come sunrise tomorrow. So um, just got kind of moved in, gonna eat a little food, gonna do a little bit of computer work over there, gonna watch a little Sunday night football. In the morning, we get on the lake, we punch some holes, and hopefully we catch some walleye. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. short cord for the camera this is why when filming we start so early because there's a massively long process of setting up but what is going on guys today we are back with another video obviously and uh, well, I made a long walk out in the dark today to check some ice I'd like to take a machine out but figured the first time you go out especially if it's in the dark Gotta check that ice. Hopefully my headlight's not messing up the footage here. But we're set up. We just kind of got out. It is probably about 7 a.m. right now. Sun's probably just about to start to come up. And hopefully the bike kind of fires off. I have not been to this lake yet this ice season as ice was just kind of just made. But essentially going to be setting up and hopefully some like rock to sand transitions. Edges of big pieces of structure in that 10, 11, 12 foot range. And I uh, hope the fish are just kind of nomadically moving around those areas. And um, a lot of times if you get a lake that's real flat, you just kind of set up on the edge of a big piece and kind of wait till fish move through. Or your other thing is fly around, which is probably what we might do midday um, and just kind of cover a bunch of water walking. So that's kind of the plan. We got the Hummingbird Mega Live down right now. I'm going to hook up the camera to that so you guys can hopefully watch some cool interactions with fish. And now we sit tight and wait for the bite to happen. Literally just shot the intro. Look at him right there coming up on it. He's gonna eat it. That's a dead stick. Yep, he just ate it. There we go, boys. There's our first one of the day. About one minute in. I mean, literally just got done with the intro. You guys ready? Are we ready for the first walleye on a jig route of the year? right there <laughs> in the dark not gonna be a big one. Oh, he's a nice walleye though nice walleye up in shallow water there we go and that is why you want to get up there out fishing so early because a lot of times when you're fishing shallow water it's these morning evening bites that you're kind of fishing for that are kind of the ones and I was literally just got done with the intro and was just hooking up that GoPro so you guys could watch the mega live and there we go right there beautiful walleye start 16 incher we'll get bigger today Let's let that guy go though. They're all wins for today though. Because we're on ice and we're catching fish. But that was about as easy as it gets right there. Dead stick rod, two brothers dead stick series rod. Significant amount of backbone, very light tip. 
fish it with the bale closed and most time you'll watch that rod just go and then it'll kind of start loading like that and then i just open the bale kind of reel down to the fish and set the hook simple as it gets right there and you guys got to watch that fish kind of come up and swing right off the neck live and obviously i've not even started jigging yet but essentially all we're doing with that dead stick rod is grabbing a big old fat head out of there and you know me i always like to scour the minnow bucket for the the biggest fat head i can find and then tipping it on a number 10 treble simple as simple can be right there let's fire it back down and get it in position on the mega live very nice having one transducer down one hole kind of being able to see see it all go down all over the dead stick. Oh yeah, he's got it. He ate it. He ate it. At least I think he did. You guys can still just kind of see him chilling there in the bottom. All right there. Fish on, boys. What do we got? What do we got? Little walleye, little 14 inch there. Oh, there we go, fish number two. I've marked one other one so far, but uh, he did not commit. Only been here for a short amount of time now. It's just kind of starting to get in light out. We'll get this guy popped off quick, get back down there. So important to run the dead stick on so many different bodies of water. Especially if you're doing the shack thing because it can really complement your jigging very well And it's fun to watch them on the live kind of come in play around sometimes They'll kind of gravitate into the spoon first other times. They'll go right to that dead stick and uh, You can pretty much call your shot like oh yep there you ate the bait <laughs> Reel down and set the hook and uh, This is gonna be my first kind of full winter filming a lot of this this mega live stuff Unbelievable tool you guys know how powerful it is in the boat how powerful it is on the ice. It's incredible. So I'm really looking forward to kind of showcasing you guys a lot of that kind of stuff. But we'll get rigged back up here and send her back down and do it all over again. Wow, look at that. <laughs> did you guys see that one come up that was absolutely out of nowhere of course sitting on the phone a lot of times that's just the best way to catch a fish right not a big one but i've been sitting here for about 30 minutes and if i'm just constantly catching smaller ones like this i'm going to move i know a walleye is a walleye but you know we're looking for something that pulls a little bit harder than than this guy right here and that is a real little guy but we'll catch bigger. It might just be a simple move or, you know, I mean, I'm sure you could even sit here and probably catch weed through some other ones throughout the day. But I think based on that size, the first one, not bad. And then it's kind of gone a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller since then. But that is fine. We're catching fish. Life is good. We've been fishing for about 30, 35 minutes right now. And uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll give it. Maybe we'll give it the full hour, and then if we don't see what we like as far as size goes, move locations. Oh, right there. It's all over that dead stick looking at it. Looks like a good fish. Oh, he's coming back for it. Did he eat it? Oh man, there's two of them down there. I didn't even see that. Come on. Oh yeah, he's all over it. He's on it. He's on it. All right, well, we're gonna sacrifice the jig fish here for that fish that just ate the dead stick. I'm just gonna reel down till we get tension. 
got him right there. Feeling nice, feeling nice. Oh, not as big, nice 16 incher. Thought he might have been a little bit bigger, but there we go. As you guys can tell, the wind is rocking and rolling. And uh, it just really picked up, which it's coming. We might have to get some some poles up in the otter to minimalize the wind here. Hopefully, you guys can hear me all right. We try our best on this channel for audio. 15 incher, not our big, thick, chunky one yet, but uh, we'll drop back down. There's obviously some fish around. We'll drop back down. We'll get a few poles in the otter, and we'll be cooking. Oh, he's all over that dead stick again, dude. Why are they so all over that thing today? It's like I can't. I'm having a tough time pulling them into the jig. Oh, here comes one. Oh, it's coming back. Dude, how is he not eating that dead stick? Should I creep it away from him? Oh, he didn't like that at all, did he? Didn't like that at all. He just, sh oh, he's coming back though. Come on. Dude, he's all over it. He's just not eating it. Crazy how many times he's coming up and looking at that. Oh, he bit it that time. Oh, yep, 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 yep. There we go. All right. Wow, dude. It's crazy sometimes watching him interact on the live. You know, most of the time you'd think, you know, how is the fish going to say no to a dead stick, right? Well, he obviously did like three or four times. Got him right there. Think we're gonna have the better one? Come here, buddy. Oh, nice walleye. Nice walleye. He's getting froggy right at the hole here. Oh man, in shallow water. In shallow water, man. How are you gonna beat it? Oh, come on. Come on. Easy with him at the hole. This is where you lose him in shallow water. They do this like walk around the hole like this. And there you go. Nice fish. Nice walleye right there. <laughs> there we go. Cool to watch, huh? Cool to watch it all go down. Quick trick you can generally do to get a fish unhooked with just like a single hook or a treble hook. That's kind of deep. Just grab the line, get it taut, run your finger down that line, and a lot of times you'll be able to punch that hook backwards and it'll come out just like that right there. Kind of stuck to your fingernail. There we go. Beautiful walleye right there. Early ice, catching beautiful fish like that. How are you gonna beat it? All right, let's let that guy go. That is just exactly what we're after right there. Too cool. And hopefully you guys are enjoying watching them on the Hummingbird Mega Live. Unbelievably cool tool. Just kind of gauging that fish's activity, watching them come up and come down. And a lot of All right, well, there we go. Another nice walleye on the ice. Can't complain about that at all. And uh, had the camera die for a second there, but we got it all figured out. And judging by their activity, how they're all coming into that dead stick and eating that and even making multiple swings up at that. I mean, you can watch the mega live. It's all, you know, that's what they're doing. There's no question about, oh, are they coming into the jig first or coming into that? No, they are definitely coming in on that dead stick, very attracted to it. And shot a piece about an hour ago for the walleye now app on dead sticking specifics. There's a lot of little tips you can do that ultimately catch you more fish both in the rigging and how you're setting the hook and the rod real line all that kind of stuff that's going to help you out put it on the walleye now app simply get on walleye now click let's go fishing click on the winter or the ice fishing stage and then it'll be on there under presentations a really good walkthrough and kind of what you want how you want to rig and all that kind of good stuff so it's probably about what time is it even 9 30 right now in the morning obviously catching a few fish we're going to sit tight and hope they keep on funneling through 
Well, that's not how I wanted this video to end, but had a little bit of an ice shifting situation. Luckily, I was able to get off the ice quickly um, to kind of avoid anything really bad happening. But ice moves around early season. Gotta watch cracks, gotta watch wind directions, all that kind of stuff. Always gotta be leery on first ice. So unfortunately, today's video got cut short a little bit by just a bad wind direction and I uh, had to get off the ice. But is what it is, only fished for a very short amount of time this morning. Caught some walleyes, nothing big, nothing crazy. I'm confident if I had more time by the end of the day, um, you know, another six hours, I could have made some bigger moves to make some fish happen, some bigger bites happen. But nevertheless, first morning out on the ice, catching walleyes on the jig rods and dead stick rod. Ton of fun, as always. But just edited up some of this video. Um, like I said in the intro, if you guys want to stay, I'm staying in a, in a big ice castle that's on land right now. And if you guys want to come up here and do a bite like this, call Chaz, call Chaz Tobias at First City Guide Service. He'll set you up in one of his beautiful ice shacks, whether you're on a lake of the woods or a red lake or wherever you might have those things. If you want to ice fish in the state of Minnesota, give Chaz a call. He'll set you up perfect, good to go. Um, but what else do I have to add in? Oh yeah, make sure you guys check out the Walleye Now app video we did. Kind of dead stick rigging, little tips you can do here and there, rod setup, line setup, all these little things that um, ultimately catch you more fish dead stick because that was a very crucial way in which I caught fish today was running the dead stick. And it's a very effective way to fish anytime you got fish that might not be super keyed into a jig presentation. Uh, what else do we got to add? I'm kind of sitting here editing, doing a little game planning on where should I go. I was planning on staying here a couple more days, but with ice moving around a little bit, don't like it too much. Probably gonna end up driving somewhere else very early in the morning or even later tonight. Haven't fully decided yet, but I appreciate you guys watching these videos. Um, stay tuned for more content. Be safe out there on the ice and we'll see you guys next time.